Hello everybody. My niece recently had a problem with her oil burner furnace and since it's the middle of winter, furnace problem is somewhat urgent. The technician came out and told her that she needed a replacement fuel oil filter and that she needed to replace the nozzle. And that these parts were starting to become difficult to find and he was going to need as much as five or six days to come up with. So that started me on an exploration for the parts for her and it turned out to be not quite as complicated as he made it sound. If you have an oil burner furnace, then you certainly know most of the things I'm going to discuss here. But if you know nothing about them, perhaps the experience I had on my journey to find replacement parts will help you too. The technician told her she needed a 264-36. As it turns out, the dash 36 stands for the 36 pieces that are in a master pack. Notice here there's a 264-48. And there are 48 pieces in the master pack. So learning number one, the dash 36 doesn't mean anything. The dash 36 is just the packaging size. So I'm looking for a 264. When I got to this page, I noticed that there are some alternative filters that might work, namely a general 1A-25A, a, -25 -A, a Unifilter 77, or a Sid Harvey XF25. Let me show you what I found. When you put those part numbers in, you see lots of images of sort of an old school wool type filter that looks like this. And they're really inexpensive. And as it turns out, many local hardware stores and even some of the big box stores actually have this filter available. Learning number two, the fiber filter may in fact be suitably replaced with a wool filter. So as I dug into this further, I came to find that in fact, these wool filters are interchangeable with a Sid Harvey 264, a Unifilter 77, or a General Filter 1A-25A. I also found that filter on this website for not very much money and received confirmation here that it can be used with a General 1A-25A, a Unifilter 77, or a Sid Harvey 264. So that suggests that the wool and the synthetic filters are interchangeable. Here's a rayon fiber filter and notice here that it is also suitable replacement for the general 1A 25A, the federal A77, and many other filters. So if you are an expert out there, uh, I'd sure you could help all of us by letting us know whether the wool fiber is better than the spun rayon fiber filter, or whether this rayon fiber filter is the more modern replacement for a wool filter. Looks like the wool filters are still readily available, so they must do a reasonably good job of filtering out contaminants. But leave a comment below to help all of us out. Do you have any experience with a spun rayon fiber placement filter cartridge versus a wool? So hopefully this will help some of you out there who are in a panic and in a desperate need for a filter and you have an emergency situation, perhaps this will help you. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or interesting, how about subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up.